Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And today's sketch, which you can see up in the corner, was chosen by Nicole. Um, and it is a sketch that goes back to 2011. She had it on her Pinterest board and it was from a blog Tuesday sketches or something by Dode, D-A-U-D-E, who appears to be a fellow French Canadian just about three or four hours away from me. But I sort of tried to backtrack a little bit and I haven't found much information or really any activity uh, since sort of the 2011 and 2012. So don't know much more, but it's a lovely and fun sketch which I think can be used over and over again. Now for Scrap Timber, today's prompt over on Scrap Timber is white background. So I'm going to, I don't know, am I going to cheat just a touch because I'm going to use the whipped cream from the card uh, cardstock warehouse because I do love that and it goes so so perfectly with the simple stories uh simple vintage weathered garden collection and most of the simple stories collections as well which are not true white so i'm calling that following the prompt it's not white but it's close and i think it it sort of meets the spirit of that prompt so i have that and my photo Today is quite dark. It's it's another travel photo. It's from Latvia. This is in Riga. And it is the Latvian Opera House. Now, it was taken at night. And I have to admit, I did not actually get to go and see a concert at the Opera House, unfortunately. But there was a lovely, lovely church in the older part of town that had concerts almost every evening that I was able to take part in. And I think they were like, I don't know, two or three year, euro, it was sort of giving away. But I, I was not able to find anything going on the time that I was there to actually go and attend a, a concert in the Opera House. But I still want to get that recorded. The photo is quite dark because I said it was taken at night. So I think I might actually bring it down to a four by four. And I will definitely mat it in the cream as well to so that it pops out a little bit. Because you can see there are some lovely strips there. And I already have some strips here on my desk that I could use. Uh, I might do, now these are quite narrow, I find, so I might do a few more. I might do more, this I could cut in two and bring it down, uh, sort of, I would have to put that there for in the middle, I think, because that's where my photo would go, so it would hide the join, but I might do a, f a couple more. I'll have to see. I don't want to use that. I have this lovely one as well, because if I'm looking at this now, I'm finding that sort of all blending in a little bit. So I could certainly ink the edges here, or what I may do is I have this lovely Paige Evans stencil, which you can see is much loved. Uh, the star stencil, and I might do some stenciling on the background with the uh, Nouveau Glacier paste in this lovely green, and then go in with some gold splattering maybe. That's sort of the idea that I have now. Then this was just sort of lying on my desk in the midst of all of these, the remnants after I did the uh, How to Kill a Kit with Style, video and I thought maybe this would add a real pop of color but I'm not sure the green uh this is from the Vicky Booten but I'm not sure the green I think the green might be off a little bit I'd have to see after I do the um mixed media there you go otherwise um 
we have this lovely paper as well, but I thought I would like to try and use the ones that are strips already. So there you go. I have that. Then I have this, I have these tickets, which I thought maybe I might want to use for the strip across here. Again, the green is a little bit off, but then maybe, you know how it is, if I use all sorts of different greens in the end, it might look like they all belong. So I might use this as part of the horizontal strip under the photos. Have some little trees here in the sun that might be useful. Uh, beautiful, that might be useful here as well. Um, I don't think the forever will get on here at all. Maybe a couple of the stickers, some of the tickets, since it is the Opera House, might get on there as well. And then I think I put a side, yeah, see, again, from um, Family Fun, I got this camera out, maybe and this arrow in a different green. So my friends, let me go off and get the mixed media, sort of get my um, vertical banners organized, and I will come back and we're, we'll see where we go from there. See you in a second. Okay, my friends, so I got the stenciling down using that lovely glacier paste and the Paige Evans stencil. And then I went in with my Vibes Glorious Days, which to me is the perfect replacement for the Heidi Swap Color Shine, uh, the gold. So just did some splattering here a little bit on the background just to sort of give it a little more depth in the background. And then... I find that these papers pop a little bit more. So what I did, but I went with this sort of striped one as well, and I needed to sort of cut it down a little bit. So I think we will go with these and place them this way. How about that and that and therefore that. Yeah, I think I might move this over, move these over just a little bit. All right, so let's get that down so that we have something to something to work with. And I'm going to put this sort of right about here. So we'll move all of these things over just a bit. There we go. So that I can see. Is that fairly straight? Yeah, there we go. All right, then this down sort of round about here leaving a little bit of space now I realize that in the sketch as I'm doing this I'm just sort of <laughs> glancing over myself at the sketch and I realize that in the sketch it's right up top and further to the right but hey ho I sort of like it better this way I guess or that's how it is coming together for me but I still think we can see the sketch for sure and then pop this over here so then we see a little bit more of the lovely mixed media on the background there we go all right this one's a little bit crooked I think there we go better Okay, so then, as I mentioned, I, I sort of just, I did cut it down to more of a 4x4, four four, backed it on a little bit of that background paper, you see, and I'm going to pop that right about here. Now, what I'm thinking for the background strips, and they are a lot brighter, but I sort of do like that. So, now this one needs to be sort of here, like that, because in the sketch, the photo is on it. And I sort of didn't put this quite far, and I cut this too much, so I'm going to have to sort of pop that back in. 
maybe move this over just a little bit so that would go there so let's do that now you see it's going to be sort of where I want it yeah okay let's sort of pop it over a little bit more there all right there we go then put this back since I cut it just a little bit too much and just you know you and I will know nobody will know there we go and let's pop this one like that and then I will go with this now I do want that yellow to pop through because I do like that pop that it gives and I think I'm going to go take a bit off of this here so rather than make you wait for me to do that how about if I just do that there we go and will I pop that like that I do I, I sort of like that but no I'm gonna do it more this way I think there we go so let's pop that and you see this will also take away a little bit of that sort of stark white and then we can pop this over on the other side just a little bit here and pop that Just a teensy bit. There we go. All right, and then let's get our photo down. So that will then, oh God, there we go. Give us the basis of the layout. Do we want it a little bit more over this way or a little bit more over this way? I think I want it a little bit more over this way. Hmm, no, maybe there we go. Not quite center, a little bit right of center. Okay, there we go, my friend. So now we need to look at a little bit of the embellishing and some of the ideas that I have. Now, I took out this Bramble Fox piece because I thought we could use Memorable and the colors work, the sizing works, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really memorable because as I say, I went to some lovely concerts in churches, but I did not actually go to a concert um, at the Latvian Opera House. So it, it was lovely and it's a nice memory, but I don't think in the way that we would want to use memorable that it's memorable but I will see I'm going to leave it there then the other thing I thought that we might be able to do is I mean it's just travel isn't it so I could sort of put the passport there although we don't have a title yet and the title sort of would go better there wouldn't it absolutely amazing day no um best ever not really either how about just you know plain and simple lovely i think that works actually i think plain and simple lovely might work then i could maybe pop this I don't know where this would go. So I think plain and simple, that might work. Now, you see, I'm thinking also I could pop this here, but then I would want to put um, maybe a flare or something in that area, sort of something maybe like this. That might work. You see, and it doesn't, I think that might work. Let's just not pop that down, but leave that there for now. Um, 
I do like from the Let's Go these florals. Now they certainly introduce um, sort of the rust color, but I think it makes things pop and it could be nice to pop it there because I have this one and then we could pop this one over here with another flare perhaps or we could do the passport maybe here oh I do kind of like that but now that's all very linear isn't it so we definitely do. Now it is fairly linear in the sketch, maybe doing something like this here, and then I'd have to find something more for there. So this is starting to come together, my friends. Let me go off and think a little bit more and we will come back. Okay, friends, well, there you have it. And you can see that basically this cluster moved up here so I, I I found really doing the entire cluster down here at the bottom just made my layout maybe a little bit too top heavy I, I suppose I could have done the cluster diagonally this way but you know I like doing um, my clusters diagonally so and there is more interest at the bottom of the photo I find, although this area could have easily been covered up for sure, but I decided to go at the top. So I kept the exact same idea here where I have this sticker underneath, the lovely as my title with this gorgeous Flairalicious piece tucked in here. And then I got the puffy florals to add just a little bit of that color. And then you see, on the foam sticker sheet, I had this arrow, and it was quite long. And with you, I kept trying to get the green arrow, get an, an arrow on here, and then it dawned on me that this one I could cut much shorter, and it would fit perfectly here, and then use the two other bits to sort of have my little triangle. I'm not one for design principles. I, I don't really follow any kind of design principles. I just like to do on a page what is nice to my eye. But I do like triangles. I, I just find they sort of frame things, get things done. I do love doing things a little bit in triangles. So then popped one of the flat back brads, another little floral piece here and a geotag then i wanted to get that passport on here so here it is i just sort of put it askew a little bit a flower a floral uh foam sticker on top with a chipboard compass because this is a travel page so any of these icons uh can be on here nice and easily a little uh, sticker here, go see do, and another lovely flarelicious piece tucked in under the photo. And there you have it, my friends. So, this week's Sketch Sunday, thank you, Nicole, for choosing our sketch. Make sure you pop on down below and see what the Sketch Sunday crew has for you. It is day four of Scrap Timber with a white background. And the cream, still white, still sort of, I think, respects the, the, the idea behind the prompt. And there is the playlist for the Scrap Timber event. And if you're looking for us on Instagram, or if you would like us to find you, use the hashtag ScrapTember2022. See you soon, my friends, tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.